Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. Today let's learn about different type of car axles. Car axles can be classified as drive axle, full floating axle, semi floating axle and dead axle. So you know what are axles which hold our tires. So these actually help the tires to rotate properly and carry the all lot of the vehicle. So these are the axles and different type of axles. Now let's go deep into different type of axles and see why they are different and what makes them actually different. So what are drive axles? You might have heard about four wheel drive, two wheel drive, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive etc. So the axle which is getting the drive from the engine is called as a drive axle. So in a front wheel drive vehicle the front axle is getting the drive that means the engine is giving the torque uh, directly towards the front axis that's why it's called the front drive axis so if the rear axle is getting the drive it's called a uh, rear wheel drive axle it's the same way two wheel drive but only the two wheels are getting the drive and a four wheel drive means all the four wheels that means all the two axles are getting the drive from an engine that's called a four wheel drive vehicle so that's called the drive axle the axle which is getting the drive from the engine is called as a drive axle and, and nowadays we can see more type of transaxles. Transaxles is also a type of drive axle where it combines the transmission and the front axle. So that means if it's a front wheel drive vehicle and if it's a small vehicle, transaxle comes into play. That means front axle is getting the drive and this particular drive is given from the engine and it's a combination of the transmission also. The, the axle combines with the transmission at that section of the axle uh, which is called as the transaxle. Then we have the full floating axle. It's used for heavy duty applications, uh, heavy uh, trucks or like for uh, heavy vehicles. It's having large hubs. You can see the large hub hubs which will be protruding out at the section of the tire if you can see. will have large heavy hubs and the axle shaft is actually bolted towards these large hubs in a uh, full floating type of axles. The advantage is that it can carry more load uh, because uh, the Larger hubs carry the heavy load of the full vehicle itself. The speciality is that the hubs are having uh, separate bearings and carries the weight of the entire vehicle. So the hub is actually carrying the entire weight of the vehicle. And if the axle shafts break, there are chance for the axle shafts to break in heavy vehicles. So even if it break, the uh, wheel will not actually throw away from the vehicle because the wheel is bolted towards the hub strongly. So even if, uh, even if the axle shaft breaks, the wheel will be in place and the torque is actually transmitted from the differential towards hub in full floating type axis so it's heavy duty application axis now we have a semi floating axis so this is for light duty vehicles and light duty cars it will have a light duty differential and the weight of the vehicle will be carried by the axle shaft itself and it's actually held in place uh, by a oak clip in the differential carrier and if the uh, particular shaft the axle shaft breaks there's a chance for the wheel to actually roll off from the vehicle so that's a danger in semi floating axle types then we have the dead axle or it can be also called as the lazy axle it's a type of free floating axle I can say what is called as a dead axle the rear axle of a front wheel drive is called as a dead axle that means uh, the dead axle is this particular axle which is not getting the drive from the engine if we have a front wheel drive vehicle, the rear wheel axle is not getting any drive from the engine. So it can be considered as a dead axle. Dead axles can be classified as pusher axles and tag axles. The dead axle which is situated immediately in front of a drive axle is called as a pusher axle. Situated just immediately in front of the drive axle is a pusher axle. The tag axle is that type of dead axle which is situated just behind the drive axle. So uh, dead axle can be classified as pusher axle and tag axle. So these are the various types of uh, axles if we look into it. I believe you got an idea of it. Please subscribe for more video updates on a daily basis. Like, comment, share to motivate our team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.